It's your boy Warren Bill, the Pimp Guy, with your mama shit have told you, and um, wanted to talk about how to manage her ego. <laughs> how to manage her ego. Hmm, let me see. It's a tough one. <laughs> it's a good study because most dudes who've experienced women, who've dealt with women and not just talked about females, but actually dealt with them. Um, they know the, the way that women are, it typically keeps a man on his toes. But see, a pimp takes all of that Packages it in masculine, godly splendor, Moorish splendor, and then he reverses it on her. <laughs> Everything that she does to you, he does to her. And so men approach the subject about how to manage her ego. Because it's like, well, what do I do now? She does this. What do I do if she does that? And what do I do when she does that? Well, we could come up with a hundred scenarios. But it all comes down to one thing. Now, when you talk about the Kabbalion and you talk about the seven hermetic principles, the seven universal laws, the truth of the matter is that there's only one universal law. It's the law of one. There's only one. Just like there's only one all. Or when you say Allah, but the various attributes, the 99 attributes, it's the same principle. There's seven universal laws. But there's really only one law. With seven derivations of the same law. There's one law. And it's the law of cause and effect. Period. If you say vibration. If you say rhythm. If you say correspondence. Da 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 da. You're still talking about cause and effect. So when you're talking about all of the different scenarios and situations that dealing with a woman can introduce to you, um, it's true that pimps mastered what was known as a skull book, which basically told them how to handle certain things. You know, based upon different scenarios and stuff. And that's why we study pimpology because um, you can't be a pimp unless you're born a pimp. And a pimp is invalidated by some other nigga who calls himself a pimp. Because I know motherfuckers who call themselves pimps in this lifetime that I've heard from people uh who's ten toes down on the pavement who know exactly about those people but they and they gave me the real rundown and those people fuck with me because I never lied and said that I pimped in this life I pimped in my in my former life the soul is eternal that's why I'm so that's why the game comes so easy to me because my soul remembers when I pimped in my in my past life if you look up a natal chart, you'll find that there's something known as a north node and a south node. For the intelligent, the those nodes tell you about past and present life because the soul is eternal. Ain't no nigga can validate me. Hoes, hoes validate pimps, not no fucking nigga. Fuck a nigga not about that 
The game represents a master key. Either it unlocks doors or it doesn't. Don't think that because a nigga pimped that he wasn't no fucking hater. Because you had that too. You got all kind of personality. So, we're talking about how to manage her ego. How to manage her ego. When I was a kid, um, my father, um, I don't know if I was in my room playing or if I had just finished eating cereal when I was already sitting at the table. But the gift of art runs in my bloodline my grandfather could draw well my father could draw well my uncle could draw well and i mean my uncle was dope you know what i'm saying um but art and music is in the bloodline um but um my father had decided decided to um, make me sit down at the um, at the uh, dining room table, and he sat on the other end of the table with a notepad, you know, like a a sketch pad. And he said, "I'm gonna draw a portrait of." And I'm young. I'm like, okay, cool. So I sat there. And dad is, you know, drawing and drawing. And then he'd look up, study me. Then he'd draw some more and look at me again. Go back to his pad. Did a little racing, you know, got to get it right, get the lines right. And it probably took him maybe 15, 20 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes, I don't remember. But he took his, you know, he took his time getting it right. And um, when he finished the portrait, he said, you ready? I said, yeah. And he turned it around and he drew the head of Godzilla. (laughs) And it was a good drawing of it, too, because that runs in our family. He drew the head of God, and the whole time he looking at me and sketching and looking at me and sketching. It was the head of Godzilla, you know. And that's that's who my dad was. He was a trickster in that kind of way. Always was, even as a kid. But the gist of it is that um, the first point in understanding managing. A female's ego. You ready? We're talking about managing her ego. Right? Okay. Well, the answer is fuck her ego. That's the first point. Fuck her ego. I don't care who she is. Men don't engage in a study of how to manage a bitch ego. The only thing that you need to focus on is the mental portrait that you've drawn of yourself in your mind's eye. We could go through eight steps and eight eight ways, eight tactics to handle. Man, fuck her ego. <laughs> Isn't it liberating? <laughs> Iceberg Slim talked about the movie screen of a man's mind. And the importance of a man, in so many words, drawing a portrait of himself that's grandiose and dope, fly, 
powerful, masculine. It can't be an image that your mom tried to create in you because she's not a man. I don't take that seriously. And I don't take your mother seriously as a man. Neither should you. This portrait is the one that you draw of yourself. And that's the only one that matters. Because what you'll find, mama dearest, is that the more grandiose that picture becomes, the less she might support the motherfucker. People who support you, support you at the level that you at. But don't get no ideas. Don't start seeing yourself in no grandiose light. They might not be able to support that. You see what I'm saying? So. Hear them, but don't take it too seriously. When they say that these people support you. Sometimes what you represent, people have contempt for. Even people that's close to you. Now I fuck with Canadian Maple Leaf. And I took a one ounce Canadian Maple Leaf. Cost of gold is going up. And, um... Just to show you the kind of inner contempt for a man that has a grandiose self-image. You need to pay attention to your wife or girlfriend if what comes out of their mouth mostly is criticism. Or backhanded compliment. Some dumb shit. Because sometimes they're reacting to a level of you and an image of you that they can't support. Now they might be cool with you as long as your self-image is that of Godzilla. But if it's of a, a royal priesthood (laughs) you know what I'm saying Christ was a member of the Nazarenes which was a group of Egyptian seers that studied higher uh, science okay with the noise god damn gone okay so the whole key is right Um, but when they come into contact with that energy They might not be able to support it. So it's a good thing to see and touch gold. Just feel the energy. I got a coin in my hand right now making this. It's just the energy. It's God's money. It's real money. So... I took the coin out of my pocket and I put it in the hand of this female that I know just to feel the energy. Bitches sell pussy for fake money that ain't backed by gold. With some dead white motherfucker on the cover that used to own slaves. And if it's George Washington, he pulled teeth out of the head of black people and made dentures out of his slaves. That's a dental plan for your ass. Let's go out back and put me some teeth together. That's a true story. But anyway, the gist of it is that um, I put the coin 
in her hand. I just wanted her to feel the energy. You know what she said? Feels fake. Now I'm a, I'm a player in Mac position. I'm quick on the draw. You know what I'm saying? The average, the average, uh, you know, uh, cowboy, he got two guns. I got six. <laughs> and I'm quick on the draw. The quickest in the West, you dig? So when she said, it feels fake. I said, no, nah, you just ain't used to feeling real gold. <laughs> you used to feeling fake shit. Costume jewelry. That's what the fuck you used to. She ain't say shit. I used to do my baby mama like that all the time. The point is. Upgrading somebody. Can only happen when your self image is upgraded. But that don't mean that the person in your circumference actually supports that level of consciousness so pay attention to people in your circumference as you work to de develop the best version of yourself and pay attention to how they respond and or react to that energy And also, peep out my audiobook on self-awareness. My last audiobook. Some serious gems. The only thing that matters with women is the mental portrait that you keep of yourself. In your mind's eye. In your consciousness. There are no steps that you need to master. Regardless of what she says or does, what to do in this case, what to do in this case, there's only one answer to all of it. And that's being in the spirit and the mind of your ideal self. Keeping the big picture in mind and making moves accordingly. There are certain things that that dude simply won't tolerate. If you leave it up to the gynocracy, the portrait that they drew of you, that they want to be in your mind is that of Godzilla. Because Godzilla doesn't have the confidence to become a passport bro. Men go overseas and they're dealing with dimes that they got on the fly. Bitches that would be arrogant as fuck here. And most of them are built like that. Beautiful. They got everything you need in Thailand. Philippines. Fat booties. Whatever. They got it all. Or Brazil, whatever you like. I don't care. That's not the principle, is it? Stay on task. You got to shut your mama down inside of you. A lot of you dudes need to shut her down inside of you. I always know when I'm dealing with your mama and a dude in his comments. Like, damn. But there are certain things that that guy... On your inner portrait that you drew of yourself, he won't tolerate. A passport, bro, tore that page out of his consciousness that the gynocracy drew. They're comfortable with that self image in you. And so men go overseas and they're getting treated like a king.
right? What women that love to be entered into by a masculine man. You married to these bitches over here. <sighs> I know a psychologist. Yep, a psychologist. Ain't had no ass in a year. From his wife. That's a true story. But anyway, some things to think about. How to manage her ego. When a woman is dealing with you, she is sitting in a movie theater with a huge ass fucking screen. And on that screen is the ideal portrait of you. And that's what the fuck she's dealing with. And that's all the fuck you need to know. Defining it, that part is on you. Thanks for listening. It's your boy Warren B. Peace.